good morning, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter in episode two of this video slash podcast of the Good Morning. Check out it at, check it out at Sorgatron.com and please look for the Good Morning podcast with Michael Sorg on iTunes and Stitcher. And uh, of course, uh, Spreaker actually as well. You can look up Michael Sorg on there. It's just on my personal account for the time being. And also, uh, you can subscribe to us on YouTube. Just go to Sorgatron.com and uh, click on the one of those videos there. I want to have subscribe buttons here uh, shortly, of course. Uh, and of course, today, you guys, if you follow me on Twitter, or if you maybe join us live early on for uh, podcast day, we'll record every Tuesday night uh, at, at, at SorgatronMedia.com. Uh, I uh, have had a bit of a... I've had something on my mind, guys. I've had uh, a little bit of something weighing on me. And because uh, every time I got to do my business, I'm looking at a toilet. And I started t- picking that apart. And realizing that the thing you do your deed in every day has really not changed, at least for me. I don't know. Maybe some of you have. Maybe some of you have seen this. Uh, but it's really not changed for me uh, since I was a kid. That uh, way well, I said uh, the the toilet that, that I have now in my home doesn't look much different than the one that I potty trained on 30 years ago. What's happening with all these technical advances? We got our iPhones, we got our our tablets. I walk around with my Nexus Seven, and I feel like Picard whenever they hand them the report on on Next Generation, like doing whatever I want with this thing, right? Um, so much, and of course we have CES that just went by. Where's the toilet tech? So I started asking. I, I, I started uh, going around and, and, and on Twitter and saying, what is the deal with this? What's the issue? You know, um, Neil, uh, at Neil RS, uh, uh, formerly of Audio Shocker, he's joined us on, pod, on Awesome Cast in the past. It says, what about those Japanese joints with the integrated sink, bidet, and heated seat? Funny you should mention that. These exist. It's out there. Or why doesn't, why don't, how many people know there are options about their toilets? Um, I mean, to a point, yeah, these are kind of creature features, but still, just the toilet itself is a bowl of water and this, and, and their function has not changed. I feel like there's a better way to do this. I feel like there's a better way than crumpling up pieces of paper and doing this. And I know the first thing that people are going to come to is the three seashells. Uh, the three seashells is definitely the hoverboard of toilet technology. Okay, um, it's 2015. I haven't seen my hoverboard yet. When it gets to 20 whatever for demolition day, well, as it is, it was 1999 when they started the movie. Uh, about six years in the future when it came out, and uh, I, well, no, that's probably accurate. L.A. is probably pretty much a, a desolate. Uh, okay, anyways, other than that. Um, I started talking a little bit with uh, our boy Will Rutherford, DJ Lunchbox from Wrestling Mayhem Show, of course, the great proprietor, doing Panel Ride at PanelRide.com. Um, I, I started pontificating him like this is this is a, a big big toilet paper keeping us down, keeping us in our toilet, so we're still constantly buying some dead trees to wipe our butts with in other parts. Um, and he says. He completely agrees. Effing big toilet paper, says Will. We could have bidets. Completely. Completely, Will. I'm with you. And just as enthusiastic. Um, we ended up having a, a, a bit of a conversation, partly tongue-in-cheek, but actually having a really good experiential conversation with Mad Mike, Mike Rorson, also of uh, Rambling Movie Minute and Wrestling Mayhem Show, um, about this. Because he actually has been to to- he has been to Tokyo. He has been... He has seen the promised land of of uh toilet tokyo and uh he reported back uh with uh, a, a piece that we're kind of dubbing the toilet cast um and i'll have that shared as well here um on the network because uh, it, it was it was just kind of captured on our youtube stream so we gotta extract that but it was a great conversation i had a lot of fun with it and learned a lot actually uh, and he shows us it uh, he I, he was like a product monkey because he was sitting there talking to me about this cocoa bidet and the stuff that you can do I mean, these things, it, 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 you can have the seat warmer, 
you can have I this is not an Amazon affiliate or something. This is not a backdoor thing. I'm just amazed by there's technology for my button. Um, you can have a remote control to do all this stuff. Um, the 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 water bidet thing is is interesting. And bidets are sold at Home Depot, but they're not attractive. If you ever look uh, look at Home Depot de bidets and this is the thing that gets me because I think I've seen this in some fancy places. Um, but it's an extra unit. There's a big issue right there. There's another place that you have the nice space you have to take up in your in your bathroom. Um, I'm in a notoriously small bathroom Pittsburgh home here. Uh, I guess I have a little bit of room in my Pittsburgh toilet in the corner of the basement. But other than that, um, it, it's just another thing to put in there. And there's a big barrier to construction at this point. Now, granted, if you have a standard bidet, a standard Tokyo bidet that everything's right there uh, in one unit, I suppose you're going to have something of a similar problem, um, at least with the plumbing side. But I think that's a little... That can be handled, right? You already have water running to your toilet. You already have that happening. Um, but why don't we? I think education is an issue. You say, well, it costs a bit. Yeah, I'm looking at some of these, and they're around $500 uh, uh, for the standalone units at the, uh, the Home Depot. But you look over here, uh, and uh, there, there's units as low as three thirty nine, and uh, it's it's <sighs> guys we're missing out. I, it sounds it sounds like it's glorious. It sounds we're missing out. And I don't know if it's because uh, Japan is just more open, uh, you know, culturally, sexually, whatever that they're not afraid of something like this. I know I know Mike described to me the situation I had to inspect the bidet. What is he gonna? What's gonna happen? What's going where? Um, and, uh, it, it's, it, but in the end, it's worth it. In the end, it's worth it. Um, I mean, I've seen, I've seen people's bathrooms that they have televisions in there. Uh, we put all this money in our big screen TVs. We put all this money into our cars. We put all the money into this thing, but we die putting any money into taking care of our tushies, um, and doing it a better way. Uh, and, and, and what is that better way? Uh, who knows, you know? Um, and just kind of poking around. <laughs> I know it's kind of rough to use the word poking when we're talking about toilets. Um, there is advancement. I, I, I found an article over at, at Mental Floss that actually there's a little bit of toilet technologies of the future. We got we got uh, solar powered poop blasters. I hope they have a more uh, sensitive name than that one to get through there. Um, there's a lot of work in this, but again, I think it's kind of. Uh, dirty topic, a taboo topic. We're not talking about what happens in the bathroom. Um, and maybe we should. Uh, poop grinder. And I, I can understand that. I mean, some of us just, just relegate into, into you know, junior high and uh, start giggling. Um, so maybe that's the barrier too. You know, maybe we have an open conversation about where we poop. And maybe it'll make it better. And maybe we'll consider it. Guys, let me know what you think about your toilet technology, where it should go, what can make it better. Maybe you're doing something special on that. We're not, again, open a conversation. Maybe you guys figured it out, and I'm just not aware. I'm just in the dark. I don't follow enough toilet blocks, because apparently there are some, apparently. Yeah. Mike Sorg, at Sorgatron on the Twitters. Let me know your thoughts. Sorgatron.com. Please subscribe to the Good Morning Cast on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube. And uh, have a good morning. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.